In about 36 hours, the Georgia Bulldogs are hoping your bite is as tough as their bark. And sometimes the energy from the stands can really help get the team pumped up. Our Jerry Carnes checking in with us again from outside SoFi Stadium. And Jerry, when you head back, you may need to rest your voice, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of barking tomorrow. <laughs> No doubt about that, Ariana. The sun is starting to rise here over Los Angeles, and in just more than 24 hours, that building back behind me will be filled with Georgia Bulldog fans rocking and barking. By now, we all know about the Georgia tradition of chanting, Go Dogs Sick'em. The favorite chant of TCU fans, uh, you probably haven't heard about that, and even they can't explain it. The passion of a Bulldog fan is measured by the level of intensity in their bark. <laughs> True TCU fans will respond with a rousing riff ram. Riff ram TCU grads Nick and Andra Dotson can riff ram as well as anyone. They know exactly when to start swaying elbows and cheering. Every time there's a touchdown or to hype people up, it's three times this way, three times that way, you know, and then they go. There's riffs and rams, lickities and wahoos. Give them hell, TCU. Even these TCU faithful aren't sure what it all means. Uh, honestly, I think it's just, I, it really gets you hyped is what it really is, I, I think. Maybe there's an origin story to it. According to TCU Magazine, there's a version of the cheer in the 1905 Horned Frog Yearbook. That's about all we know in terms of history. TCU's other traditions include the bent-fingered Horned Frog hand sign and something new called Hypnotoad. Students are taught the Riff Ram cheer at orientation without explanation. They do have a Game of Thrones class, but not a uh, origin of the chant, which they should. We don't need a background. We just do yeah, what they say. Do. Thankfully, when it comes to the bulldog bark, <laughs> there's no explanation needed. Okay, uh, I mentioned that hypnotoad. Um, I'll just describe it. It's apparently this frog with spinning eyes. It appears on the video boards at TCU home games. It's supposed to hypnotize opposing fans and players. I don't know, uh, another uh, one of their traditions that's difficult to explain. We'll just stick to barking with the University of Georgia. Exactly. Jerry's like, I don't know. That's not my business. I'm a UGA fan. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so guys, remember 11 Alive is your go-to place for coverage of the college football playoff championship. All you have to do is text UGA to the number 44885-7600 for updates on the dogs.